Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday, happy new release day. Coming at you with a case. 2022 Bowman's Best Baseball. Eight box, pick your team, number three. From where else? But jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to this group for making it happen on the eighth. Just pick your team, three. Now if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that in the, uh, the Bowman's Best three and four. Pick your team, three and four filler. And we did that in a separate video. If you have a star next year, it means you got last spot on Mojo. You bought the last team outright before the remaining teams ended up in a filler. They say around around here, legend has it that last spot Mojo at 70% of the time hits 100% of the time. That's what they say. Two, four, six, eight boxes here. Four autos per master box, two in each mini. And we got more pick your teams in the store. And if you go to Instagram Live at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks, we got personal boxes of these. At Jaspies Breaks on Instagram. That's at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram Live. Jason Jaspie is ready to rip open some Bowman's Best for you. Make sure I grab all the packs out of there. Bow man, because we're bros, man, says Shilo. All right, I'll allow it. And I believe all cards should in this, right? Yeah, all cards should. Now it's Bowman, so I think it's a lot of prospect hunting here, but they will mix in some, some, uh, some current players as well, as well as the up and coming players. Current superstars. Got a little uh, World Baseball Classic on in the background. Bottom of the first, Australia at Korea in Tokyo. All right, good luck everybody. There's our first auto, Yankil Fernandez. Yankil needs to use the entire canvas here. But an autograph nonetheless for Tristan and the Rockies won that in the team random. Got a UFO, Bryce Harper. It's kind of a cool insert. Colton Kowser. Got some, got some elements here, some air. And a Julio Rodriguez orange. Is that numbered? It is. Rob picked up the Mariners straight up and gets the Julio orange. Nine out of 25. And there's our other autograph, two per mini box, Ricardo Cabrera. Reds, that's gonna to go to D-Y and the Reds. Got a Bobby Witt Jr. Global Impact, Luis Robert die cut, and a Mackenzie Gore. The Bobby Witt Jr. is a refractor, nice. Royals, that'll be for Joey, Joey P. We got Eddie's Leonard. That's going to be for the Dodgers. That's going to be for Raymond. We got another UFO insert. I wonder if Jason Dominguez will have a UFO insert. 
He is the Martian after all. We got Ricardo Cabrera to 75 for the Reds. That'll be for DY. That's to 75 once again. And we got a Stephen Kwan, rookie auto for the Guardians. Aaron. Cleveland, this is for you. Yeah, this is a huge signing space. These guys need to use the canvas a little bit more, Gilo. Holiday, Jackson Holiday to 150. Nice one for the Orioles, Henry. Another Jackson Holiday. Here's the Yiddy Cap die cut. We've got Bowman Masterpieces insert, Julio Rodriguez. All right, there you go. Nice start. Box one in the books. Yeah, I don't think that was by design. By, I don't think that was intentional, Gilo. I think there was, there's was. there been some, uh, I think dating back to the pandemic, I, I think basically the entire production schedule has been screwy. So that's why you have a lot of like, a lot of products being released I think they're just kind of putting it out there. As soon as they get it get it done and produced, I think they're just putting it out there. Usually they're a little more, they schedule these things a little bit better, but the pandemic really screwed things up. I wanna say, don't quote me on this, but I wanna say that the boss man had uh, at the Topps Industry Conference a week or two ago, I think the Topps people, the executives were saying it'll probably be another maybe like year or two before everything kind of flips back to its sort of normal schedule. So that's where, that's that's kind of what we're looking at. When you think about all the basketball product that's still coming out, that's, that's like a year behind. And baseball products. A little behind too. But they say they'll catch up at some point. And when they do, I think, yeah, I don't think they would really, because Bowman's best game usually drops. Isn't that, isn't that usually like a, I, I get December vibes from Bowman's best. Don't, isn't Bowman's best usually a December release? Finest is probably like a summer release. All right, we have, we've got a Nico Cavadas. Avada Cavadas. Sounds like a curse in Harry Potter. That goes to uh, Ed and the Red Sox. Got a Tatis Jr. die cut. Got a Wander Franco. Got a Jackson Holiday. Ooh, look at this. Bobby Witt Jr., rookie autograph, 96 out of 99. That's Joey Pruitt with the Royals. And there's Ellie Dela Cruz, 11 out of 99. Nice one for the Reds. I think these are mini diamonds is what they call them. That'll be for D.Y. Yeah, December for best, right? Yeah, and Prism Football. Prism Football is not dropping until like another week or two. So yeah, production schedules for all the companies have been have been goofy, but 
They say they're catching up. There's Curtis Mead. Rays. That's going to be for Tristan in Tampa Bay. Got a global impact, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Atomic. And a Henry Davis to 299. That'll be for the Pirates, that'll be for Michael. And we've got a UFO autograph. 186 out of 250. Uh, Yonkenzi Noel for the Guardians. Aaron with the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. And we got a Henry Davis uh, Lava or Ray Wave, whatever, whatever you want to, whatever they call it these days, to 199. I know, Gilo's got the Guardians of the Night. You should have gone into this one. All right, another box. Runners at the corners for Australia. I have some financial interest in Austria. Austria? Australia beating South Korea. Australia was plus 450. I'm kind of doing an experiment where I'm just like betting on, a, where I'm just uh, wagering on underdogs in the group stages of the World Baseball Classic. I might just roll that through the entire tournament. I'm two for two so far. But they weren't, the, the other two weren't as heavy underdogs. All right, we got Anthony Gutierrez, five out of 75. For the Rangers, that'll be for Adam. And the autograph is Brady House. Brady Dr. House. It's uh, Crohn's disease, it's sarcoidosis. That's Jeff in the Nationals. This is for Adam and the Rangers. We've got Bowman Masterpieces, Julio Rodriguez, Atomic Refractor. There is a little weird bend in these cards. Just part of the production process, I guess, but... Uh, top loaders will straighten those out. That's for Rob and the Mariners. And we got Juan Bin Cho for the Cardinals, Jay Goins, with the Redbirds. Is he on the uh, the Korea World Baseball Classic roster? No. 
There's a Henry Davis, purple to 250 for the Pirates. That's for Michael. Got a Bobby Witt Jr. rookie. He goes along nicely with that autograph. Oscar Colas Atomic for the White Sox. And we got Hendry Mendez for the Brew Crew. Jason. Jason Barton with the Brewers. Ooh, and a redemption. Did everyone see it? Did you see the redemption? Did you see who it was? And here's an Anthony Gutierrez autograph for Adam and the Rangers. No. Oh, people didn't see it. Okay, I thought I, re I thought I revealed it. There's a Jordan Lawler purple to 250 for the uh, for the Diamondbacks. Darren and the Diamondbacks. All right, Seiya Suzuki is going to help us out. It's a Bowman UFO autograph of. I saw what it, I saw who it was. It is. Mike Trout. That's for Rob and the Angels. Rob picked up the Angels straight up. I like that UFO parallel too. I think that looks pretty cool. The insert looks really cool. And now you got Mike Trot's autograph on it. Strong. All right, fourth box, four of eight. Oh no, Tristan had the Angels in the next case. We'll have to find you like an Otani or something like that. Or maybe another trap. UFO inserts are out of this world, says Gilo. Don't forget to tip your bartenders. Your special tonight is the meatloaf. Sign your cards, Mike. This one's like I'm noticing, noticing a lot of trout redemption these days. Come on, Mike. Come on, Michael. All right. We got, ooh, Jackson Holiday. Holiday. See, he's using the whole canvas. He gets it. You got a big J and an H. That's for Henry and the Orioles. Nice. And Pete Alonso to 150. I like the design this year. And you can kind of see some like the New York Mets lettering in the background there. 
That's for Paul and the Mets, right? The team logo real big in the background. Kind of like that. And we got Denzer Guzman, DG, going to Rob and the Angels. Denzer may, might need to go to Jaspi's autograph camp. Here's Jordan Lawler, Darren McKenzie, to 250. Darren with the Diamondbacks. And we got Tyler Whitaker. That's for Connor and the Astros. And we got a Joe Ryan to 99 for the Twins. It'll be for Jeff. We got a Jairo Pomares. It's Kenneth with the Giants. Last spot mojo. Strikes again. 70% of the time, last bot mojo hits 100% of the time. And here's a UFO Julio Rodriguez. So that's what the UFO inserts look like. So um, Rob with the Angels, we got that Mike Trout. Should be pretty cool. If you end up redeeming it, Rob, you should uh, maybe snap a photo of it when you get it. And tag us on Twitter at Jaspies Breaks so we can take a look at it. That's a nice Julio Rodriguez UFO for Rob as well. Mariners. There's another Julio Rodriguez. Nice. We got a Hendry Mendez for Barton and the Brewers. Corey Seeger Green to ninety nine. That'll be for Adam and the Rangers. All right, we are halfway through this break right here. Good luck, everybody. All right, hand delivered from space. Bowman's best mini box is kind of a tough nut to crack here. These packs are kind of set deep into the box and it's hard to get all the packs out at once. Yeah, first half. What a first half, right? So far, so good. Let's see. Let's see how we finish it off. See an out of five, a super fracture maybe? That'd be cool. I got another Mendez. Jason with the brew crew.
We got a Rain Doncone for my Dodgers. That goes to Raymond. Ray with Ray. Pete Alonso to 199. Paul with the Mets. I thought that might have been a purple parallel for a second. There's a Julio Rodriguez, and there was a Wander insert, right? A Wander insert. Got a Rizzo to 299, James Wood, Atomic, which are not numbered. There you go. Yeah, speak that into existence, Tristan. A Wander Super Fractor. All right. Yankees Rizzo, that'll be for Matt. Bowman Masterpieces insert. Wander Franco, that'll be for the Rays. That's for Tristan. And the Julio Rodriguez base card. We saw a refractor earlier, but this is just normal base for Rob and the Mariners. And then we got Jairo Pomares for Kenneth and the Giants. Christian Yelich to 250. Cal Raleigh Atomic. And Adiel Amador for Tristan the Rockies. Won that team in the filler. Atomic, Ricardo Cabrera. All right, another box coming up. Still scoreless in the Australia Korea game. That's a. Uh, that is a. Game on FS1 if you're interested in that. And this state, I don't know if anyone was watching this game, but but uh, this is one of those. Is that real turf? I don't think it is. I think the stadium's in Japan. It's one of those things where uh, where the infield isn't dirt. Remember those old stadiums they used to have that were were just the the bases had the dirt around it. We've got a Chase Young to 75 for the Tigers. That'll be for Adam. I think his brother Josh Young may, may make the opening day roster for the Rangers. And it looks like these uh, element parallels inserts will have autos too. Earth. Marco Luciano, 77 out of 99. Welcome to Earth. That's for my rivals, the Giants. Kenneth with my Giants. Oh, yeah. we uh, Jason and I were watching that game. We've got it on one of the TVs out there. Except you... 
instead of getting Bally's, you should have gotten uh, NBA like League Pass or something like that for a fraction of the price of the regular season price. You could watch it that way and not have to shamefully get Bally Sports, which will probably go under by the summer. Here's Dustin Harris. Dust in the wind. All we are are dust in the wind. I close my eyes. Only for the moment when the wind There's Torn Lawler for Darren and the Diamondbacks. Dust in the wind goes to Adam and the Rangers. And we got uh, Jonathan Class. Class A? Class? I don't know, Adam. Do we like Dustin Harris? Gives me an excuse to sing Dust in the Wind. That's a good that's a good thing. Dustin Harris is a according to MLB.com, a top ten prospect for the Rangers organization. Just behind, uh, he's a number nine prospect, ahead of Cole Wynn, and just behind Kumar Rocker and Luis Angel Acuna. Looks like he should. He should be, he's 23 years old, outfielder. I mean, he's probably about time for him to start breaking into, or maybe looking to break into a major league roster and then trying to, and then try to stay there. Kind of, he's kind of in that that spot. All right. Next auto is Wes Calf. Jeremy and the White Sox. And there's Bobby Wood Jr. 9 out of 99. Green mini diamond parallel. All right, two more boxes to go. Yeah, while I got this page up, Adam, Dustin Harris. 23-year-old outfielder, 6'2", 185, solid size. His MLB e debut ETA is this, e this season, 2023. He's one of those bat left, throw right kind of guys. His scouting grades are pretty good. Hitting, 55. I think that's a, what's the scale? 20 to 80. 20 to 60, maybe. Hitting 55, power 55, running 55, arm 50, fielding 50, overall 50. Sounds like a five toolish sort of dude. According to MLB.com, Dustin Harris has since blossomed into one of the better young hitters in the minors. And the Rangers are reaping the benefits after grabbing him September 2020 as the player to be named later in a trade for Mike Miner. In his first season his new organization, he slashed 327, 401, 452, 401, 542, that is, with 20 homers and 25 steals in 110 games while reaching high A. What time is immaculate? I don't know, but the schedule does. Click that schedule. And uh, it'll tell you when. If it's not on the schedule, that means I just need to go through orders and see what time it'll be. But right now, we're in the middle of some Bowman's Best. So it'll be sometime after this. But check the schedule. Keep an eye on that, and that'll tell you all you need to know about what time breaks happen. Nightbot just dropped the schedule in the chat, and I will drop the schedule in the chat as well. Keep an eye on that. It'll open up a Google Sheet.
All right, you are welcome. You are welcome. Yeah, it'll be, it'll happen soon though. We'll get there. We'll get there. There's Juan Guerrero, Tristan, and the Rockies. This guy also needs to go to Jaspi's autograph camp. With keynote speaker. Who should be the keynote speaker? Ozzy Smith. He's got good penmanship. Keynote speaker, Ozzy Smith. We got Averson Arteaga for the Giants. That's going to be for Kenneth. Maybe the Hawk. Andre Dawson should probably. I like that. That's kind of a big, bold signature right there. Another Bobby Witt Jr. We got a Wilson Contreras to two ninety nine. George Valera to 150 for Cleveland. That'll be for Aaron. And behind Trout is, is Daniel Cueva. There you go, yeah. Mariano Rivera could be a keynote speaker. Absolutely, he's got good penmanship. Adam Donier Cueva is 27th on this list according to MLB.com. Cueva will, uh, how, well, how old is this dude? And he's a shortstop second baseman, just in single A, double A, only 18 years old. So he's got a ways to go. And I mean, he's sitting behind Luis Angel Acuna and Maximo Acosta too. So he might have to develop and maybe develop into a different position. He's going to require some time to develop, but it could become a solid hitter with average pop. Has a nice left-hand swing and shows the makings of bat-to-ball -bat skills and plate discipline. So there's that. And we've got, hey, Nito. It's a Nito. Nito autograph, Zach Nito. For the Halos, that's going to be for Rob. It's Jake Berger to 199. And a Wander Franco refractor. Got a Julio Rodriguez base rookie card. The Wander Franco Refractor. The Julio goes to Rob. The Wander goes to Tristan. And the burger, the delicious burger, goes to Jeremy Anderson. Any beers will go to Darren McKenzie, Seth Beers. All right, last box. Good luck, everyone. Coming up after this, I think another break of this. I don't know. Check the schedule, ladies and gentlemen. I need to schedule just as much as you do as well. And I might actually go through some orders after this just so we can line up, you know, the remainder of our evening as well. Oh, yeah, well, hey, a sealed box. We're not sending a sealed case. Sealed box. But, uh, yeah, if you choose to open it, and if there's a Julio in there, definitely let us know. If you tag us on social media, at Jaspies Breaks, especially on Twitter, which I look at a little bit more than Instagram, then we'll be able to, to retweet that for you as well. It goes for everybody. If you, have, if you get a nice mail day from jaspiescasebreaks.com, feel free to share that with us on the socials. And if it's especially on Twitter, it's easy to retweet those things.
Remember, the atomics are not numbered. And we got a Jason Morabell. I still have this Rangers prospect page open. Is he in the top 30? He is. He's number 15 on the list. He's a 19-year-old outfielder, lefty-lefty. Adam Kupram, you're lucky I have this page open, Adam. I can give, hit you up with all this information. <laughs> top player in the international class, the Rangers international class, 2020-2021. The blue parallel is out of 50 right there. Has a quick left-handed stroke and advanced approach that will allow him to make repeated contact. Has uncanny bat-to-ball skills for such a young player and shows the ability to make adjustments at the plate. How about that? Could, could translate to 20-plus homer power once he adds a little weight. He's 6'2", 170, which is kind of skinny, right? 6'2", 170. Might have to add a little more bulk to that frame. Here's MJ Melendez to 50. And here's an Anthony Gutierrez. He's number 12 on the list. Another outfielding prospect, Adam. I think he'll be in rookie ball or maybe maybe single A. 6'3", 180. And could develop into a more athletic version of, uh, of Jimenez. Which Jimenez are they talking about? Oh, Eloy Jimenez. He moved to the Dominican Republic to train at the Amaris Nina, or Nina Academy, which previously produced Rafael Devers and Eloy Jimenez. And MLB.com is suggesting he could be a more athletic Eloy Jimenez. All right. Here's uh, some masterpieces right here, Julio Rodriguez. The MJ Melendez gold goes to Joey P. Out of 50. Got another Julio and a Colton Cowser. Henry with the Orioles. George Kirby Atomic. Another Julio base card. Ran out of top loaders. I thought I was going to make it to the end of the case. Got a Jake Berger to 299. Jeremy and the White Sox. And then Jet Williams. Jet. Woo -woo 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 -woo. And that will be Paul with the Metropolitans. Remember that wing song, Jet? Three out of 99. Jake Berger to 199. I think with the with the lines that are around the lettering, and then with this lava parallel, doesn't almost look like a uh, what do they call those? A topography map, where you see the different elevations. Makes for a cool look. And that is that, boys and girls. That was Bowman's best baseball eight box pick your team three. Thanks everyone for making it happen. Here's a quick little recap. Nice break for the Rangers. Got some Bobby Witts, got some Earth insert autographs, got some Julio Rodriguez, Rodriguez is, is. All right, got a Jackson Holiday, got a Mike Trout UFO autograph, some Wanders in the mix, yeah, nice, good, good mix of Bobby Wood Jr. autograph to 99, Bobby Wood Jr. refractor, the Julio Rodriguez orange. Nice break. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was uh, Pick Your Team 3. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.